Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you how to speed up your boot time and also increase the performance of your PC and all of that by disabling the startup programs. You know when you upgrade your computer to a new operating system uh, if the upgrade was done and you kept all your programs and all your files then you have probably tons of programs from Windows 8 or Windows 7 that moved on and are in the startup list of Windows. And I've been having a few comments on the channel, people saying that their boot time is not good with Windows 10. I did a clean install from, um, you know, by re erasing everything when I installed. And what happened is, um, basically, I've got a fantastic boot time. Actually, Windows 10 is the fastest uh, boot time I've ever seen for an operating system uh, for Windows. So the reason why you have a slowdown is probably because of the startup items that you have. Uh, maybe you've got too much startup items that were uh, from you know the old operating system. So if you want to remove that and check that out, just right click in the taskbar at the bottom and go into Task Manager. Now, if you don't see it like this, but like this, it means that you have to click more details at the bottom so that you have all of the options available. Then at the top, click on startup. Here you'll see all the startup items on your computer and you can enable and disable them. As you've seen here, I've disabled four out of five. The interesting information about each startup item is the startup impact. As you see here, it says high, low, you can also have medium. So a high startup impact means that it really slows down the computer when you want to start up. So all the high impact, you want to disable them if possible. Now, there are stuff that you don't want to disable. For example, if in this list you see your antivirus, you don't want to disable the startup of the antivirus because you won't have any protection anymore. So you got to be careful to disable only the stuff that you know will not impact the performance of your computer in any way or security. Uh, I've disabled the four first because I know it doesn't change much. But I did keep the synaptics here because it gives me uh, some functionalities on my trackpad on the laptop and that's why I don't want to remove this one. So to uh, disable something or enable something all you do is click. You can either go on the bottom right where it says enable or disable. For example if I click on the one that's enabled here you'll see disable. Or you can right click and enable or disable startup items. Now my um, wisdom <laughs> will tell you that you should disable if you don't really not really sure what you're doing disable one at a time and restart and when you restart if you see that there's nothing changed and everything seems to work well then you can go back and disable another one because if you disable everything and one of those startup items actually had um, some kind of feature that you used and it's not there anymore or maybe some problem that starts to happen because you've di disabled everything. By disabling one at a time, actually you'll know which one created the problem. If you disable everything and something happens, then you'll have to enable everything because you won't know which one actually caused the problem. So that's why going one at a time is the best way to do it if you're not sure what you're doing. But there are some stuff that you can actually disable and it's okay. For example, I've disabled Catalyst Control Center because I'm not using that really. And if I need it, I can just start it. Because what you need to know here is that when you disable this, the program is still there. I've disabled the startup of Chrome, but Chrome is still there. It's just that it might take a little longer to boot when I need it. Also, on the left, you can see there are little arrows. This means that this item has many entries so you can click and you see all the different entries. Sometimes what happens is you can disable one item in the entries but keep other functionalities. So that's also something interesting to note. 
And um, you know what? By disabling this, what happens is that all these programs don't start up anymore at the computer. So hopefully your boot time is in increased. You have less items to start, so Windows will load faster. And since there are less items that actually are loaded into memory, the other interesting thing is that the performance, the general performance of your Windows 10 computer should also be better. So all that in one simple uh, startup item. So it's very interesting to check that from time to time. And as you use your computer and install new software, um, you know, from time to time it's interesting to go back here because this list grows. Some of you maybe have a very long list of startup items here. Um, and mine is short, but in six months from now, it's probably going to be much longer than this because I'll be installing new apps, new programs, and I'll be checking for the startup items, that's for sure. If you have any comments, questions, please feel free. It's always fun to have your feedback. Um, why not subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our videos? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have um, subscribed, you'll be notified of every video. We do tons of videos and we'll do tons of videos on how to use Windows 10 and how to tweak Windows 10, have a great experience with Windows 10. And um, hopefully, you'll come back to our channel. Thank you for watching.